Good evening. A blame game is underway over the tragic slippery dip accident that killed a six-year-old boy from Clare. A national safety expert has raised questions about maintenance of the equipment. But officials say it passed a safety check and might have been tampered with. A town deep in mourning over the senseless loss of little Max Redden. You could never replace a child. Never, ever. Everyone's going to have, it's going to have an impact on everyone. Anger too at how this could happen. While a police investigation began Saturday night, the National Chairman of the Playground Equipment Standard Committee has his own theory. This incident could have been avoided. What I've been able to glean is there's a lack of maintenance. But the local government association says Goiter Council carried out routine inspections. We understand this playground was inspected within the last three months. So we all want to know what's gone wrong. These catastrophic failures don't occur overnight. Um, they take uh, years of, of rust or degradation. The local government association also concerned about the possibility of a more sinister cause. It is possible that the equipment was tampered with, as it is possible in any playground. Max's death has devastated the school community that he and his siblings attended. Staff and students today receive counselling. The principal today remembering their young student and his family, vowing to support the Reddens over the next days, months and years. Vicky Schwartz, Nine News.